everyone, it's Alyssa from Planned Alyssa. I am here with another reselling vlog video. I never did get around to making one last week. Sorry about that, guys. I just uh, got overwhelmed with stuff and was a little too busy and didn't get a video out. But I'm making a video today. And uh, the first thing I want to do is I never point out my t-shirts, but I'm wearing a very cool t-shirt today. Um, it technically is one of my merch shirts. At least it's on my merch account. But uh, this is something I'm doing... This is actually my nephew, my 13-year-old nephew's artwork. Um, pretty cool. And uh, he's raising money for a field trip he's going on. And I, uh, I said I could help him out. Um, he has all this artwork. And so we decided to put it on t-shirts and sweatshirts and, and hoodies and, and long sleeve tees um, uh, on Amazon merch. And the money made from that is going to go to his field trip uh, fund. And uh, so it's about $5 a shirt that he's making. His name is Lars and his brand name, if you're interested in uh, supporting my nephew or just seeing what kind of cool stuff he has, um, his brand name on Amazon is Sketchy Lars T-shirts. So if you search Sketchy Lars T-shirts on Amazon, you'll see all his cool designs. Now, um, I was a little bit nervous to see how these would turn out because um, we didn't have digital files of his artwork. He had, you know, he created these on paper. He's, he's old school. Uh, he creates his artwork with paper and pen and markers and really talented, I have to say. Like, I'm just so impressed with how talented he is. Um, and I'm not just saying that as his aunt. I mean, this is some awesome stuff. Uh, I certainly can't create artwork like this. Anyway, um, all we had was paper you know, uh, artwork on paper. So my sister's like, well, I'll scan it in and send it to you. Now, um, the problem with the scan, of course, is that it's not going to have a transparent background, right? Like, I mean, this was actually, this was done black ink on, you know, white paper. So it was black ink with a white rectangular background, which you can put that on a shirt. I mean, you can definitely, it's just probably not going to look right. And um, it's going to come out kind of weird looking. It's going to look like something that was scanned in and uh, you put on a t-shirt. So um, you know, my sister did all the scanning. This was a family uh, effort, you know. My nephew made the artwork, my sister did the scanning, and then I got it, you know, ready to go onto a shirt by removing, strategically removing the backgrounds in different ways. Like, the, the single color ones, the ones that were black ink, I mean, I put this on white because I thought it would go that nicer on the shirts, um, were relatively easy to remove the background on. Uh, the ones that he had were full color, a little bit more work, some I did some handy racing on even, um, but overall um, we got them, you know, so that they could be put on shirts, and so pretty cool. Um, yeah, so if you just have like paper artwork, if you want to put like your kids artwork or something onto a t-shirt, it can be done. Um, it definitely can. I used, let me think now, um, I you know, my sister scanned them. I used, I have a Mac, so in some cases I use Preview to remove the background. Um, you can use like that, that magic wand tool on Preview. I don't know what its official name is, but it looks like a little magic wand. And um, that will, in most cases, like with the single color ones, you can remove the background or at least remove them in pieces. This one I had to do in pieces and piece it back together because it was like, okay, it got the plug, um, but that it wasn't getting the rest of it, so I had to do it in pieces to get each part of it um, and then put it back together. And uh, so that worked for that. I also used on some of them, some of the ones that were color, even some of the ones that were um, black and white, I used Inkscape, which is a free program. It's what I used to design my shirts in. I don't use it anymore because it's a little glitchy, but it does have something called the Bitmap Trace Tool, which I don't have an Affinity Designer, and you can use that to kind of pull artwork out of a background. Um, so if you have a photo even, or, you know, a scan, it's, it's a little strange how it works and you can, you can set the parameters a little differently, um, depending on what you're doing. So you might have to give it a few tries before you get it to work right. Um, but I use that on some of them too. And then some of the others, at least a couple that I just, um, you know, manually erased it, like with my tablet, just kind of erase the, the parts around the drawing so that it, came out nice and clean. Anyway, um, so that was my little plug for my nephew and his field trip. And, you know, if you're interested in, uh, if you're doing merch and you have some things you want to scan in, it definitely can be done. I will say that. So, uh, that's, uh, that was something I was working on actually last week over the weekend, uh, to get those all on to Amazon 
so that he can sell them and make money for his field trip, which is coming up. It's coming up in April, I think. And uh, so what else has been going on here? Well, I've been waiting on a package, which still has not arrived. I think I told you about this in a video a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe. Um, the saga of the package that's gone, out, gone around the world. Uh, it was supposed to go to Canada, it wound, up, wound up in Morocco, and then it wound up in Spain. And according to the tracking on it, which who knows how much this tracking can believe, be believed, uh, it's on its way back to the sender. Uh, that would be me. And uh, it, it's been saying that for a couple weeks at least now, so has not shown up. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it ever does. I'm very curious to see if it does arrive and in what kind of shape it is when it gets here because um, this, has, this package has had quite an adventure. And then uh, yesterday, my boyfriend and I were out doing some sourcing. We were actually at a store that's going out of business. There's a lot of those these days. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, I sell on Amazon, um, as you know, and as do a lot of people. And the reason we do is that a lot of people shop on Amazon. And so that's good for me. Um, but sometimes it's not so great for the world for the community, certainly not for brick and mortar retail stores, which have been hurt uh, a lot by Amazon. And, you know, we're seeing the effects now with like stores closing. Um, I'm sure you have that going on where you are. Certainly it happens around here where we have stores closing. Now we do have new stores opening too. So it's, it's not totally the end of the world. And, you know, sometimes, I mean, there's always been stores closing when, you know, long before Amazon, there were stores that went out of business. So it isn't all on Amazon, but that is a big part of it. Anyway, so <laughs> rambling here, but just, you know, stores closing is something we see quite a bit of these days. And of course, store closings means store liquidation sales, clearance sales. Um, you know, as a, you know, reseller, definitely I do take advantage of that. Now, the deals aren't always that great, at least in like the first a um, few weeks of a store closing sale that you're not usually picking up much. I, I find like it's not really that great. But as the sale goes on, you will find stuff. And they're a little chancy because you can't return the merchandise in most cases. So you got to make sure that, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you buy something and it's like damaged and you don't realize it till you get home. Or you buy something thinking you can sell it and then you find out that it's a restricted item or something. So be very careful when you're shopping, um, you know, store liquidation sales to make sure this stuff is, is sellable because you're not going to be able to return it and you're going to get stuck with it. Um, but anyway, rambling here. Uh, so we were at a Toys R Us uh, not too far away that was going out of business. And so they're having a store liquidation sale. And while we were in there, there was this other guy that was doing retail arbitrage. And actually, like when I'm shopping, like I am like in my zone, like I'm just like not paying attention to anyone else. I'm just, you know, finding my products and, and, you know, filling the cart. And my boyfriend was with me and he knows this other guy was doing like retail arbitrage too. And so uh, he starts like a conversation with the guy and I don't know, they're talking about stuff or whatever. And I'm like looking for my deals, but uh, it turns out that the guy recognized me because he's seen my video. So hi, if you're watching, I don't even know your name because I didn't ask because I'm an idiot. Um, no, I'm just, I'm like shy. I'm a very shy person. And so like, I don't know, that always like throws me like, it's happened a few times where I've run into someone who's like seen my videos on YouTube and then I meet them in real life. And like, I don't know how to act. I feel like really, um, weird. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I don't have social skills. I'm, no, I'm just very shy. And like, so I was like, oh, okay. Hi. And <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but probably he's like, that girl's weird. Um, but yeah, that, that happened. And so that was kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah, he, he was lamenting the fact that like, he's, he's brand new, um, at doing it. And I guess what's going on now, especially is for new sellers, like, they're gated and everything like I noticed I guess it was starting after Christmas I think when I was listing stuff like I'd get an error message that like I was restricted from selling some product or something and I'm like how how can that be like I've been selling this product for you know a while I was selling it at Christmas time and now suddenly I can't um and so then there's like a little button that says like uh request permission to sell it or so something along those lines and I'd hit that and it would just like automatically get approved um, so it was like no big deal. Now once in a while that comes up and it's like something where you got to submit 
receipts from suppliers and a letter from the brand that you're allowed to sell it to I can't do anything about that I mean those I'm just like oh okay I can't sell that um, but but the other thing you know it's just easy like you just hit a button at least for me and it goes through but I'm thinking for new sellers that might not be the case like it might be like okay you have to you know maybe have so much feedback or you have to have been selling for so long or sold so many products or something I don't know you know what the criteria is that Amazon is using but yeah I could see that being a real problem if you're a new seller and I mean I don't know there was like one day when I was listing stuff and it was like every other thing I was listing I was getting that message on so yeah that would be a real pain in the butt um, if you're a new seller and then I know there's certain whole categories like I think grocery is one that maybe is restricted to grocery um, like health and beauty um, what else like I think DVDs like I can sell DVDs but I can't sell the higher price DVDs I think new sellers can't even sell like any DVD so it's just like you know it really limits what you can buy like you know it's like oh I can't I can't do that I can't do that you know so it is pretty tough I guess if you're a new seller uh, starting out now I'm lucky in that I've been doing this so long like I've been selling on Amazon for God I don't know like 15 years uh, 14 years something like that uh, so I don't have as many of the issues that some people have but I still have things that I am restricted in I mean I can't sell any everything that's out there and, and then sometimes something that I could sell suddenly I can't sell anymore um, so it's like oh okay you know that sucks but uh, yeah so that's just uh, in fact I have I have some stuff sitting over here that like I could sell before and so I bought more of them and now it's like oh I can't sell this anymore and um, there are things I can't return I think so they're gonna go on eBay but yeah that's just like and 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 that's there's a whole pile of stuff to go on eBay over there because I hate listing stuff on eBay anyway so yeah so I met a a fellow uh, reseller when I was out you know shopping and uh, someone that watches my videos so very cool and weird and strange and uh, you know, because you could be anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, really, and watch my videos, and you happen to be in, like, the same store that I was in at the same time I was in there, so kind of funny. Uh, yeah, but, uh, so good luck to you and to all the new resellers that are out there. Um, I, I know it's, like, tough at first, like, there's so much to, to learn and, and process and get into the groove of it, and, of course, you don't have, like, a huge bankroll, I know, when you're first starting, so it could be a little t tricky, but, um, it can be done like trust me like I started from nothing and built up a business that's my full-time income now so um, you know anyone can do it really um, if I can do it you can do it trust me uh, anyway so that's just uh, my little vlog for the day but yeah definitely check out my nephew's t-shirt sketchy Lars t-shirts I'll put a link um, in the description below um, just because you know you should look at his artwork it's cool and um, yeah it, it's not he's making money from the sale of these not me uh, it's going to his field trip fund and uh, it's a big field trip he's going on like a week-long trip they're going to he lives in Maine um, and they're going to uh, Philadelphia New York Philadelphia New York Washington DC um, plus like I think Lancaster County and I don't know what else um, so yeah it's a big giant field trip like the people, the teachers, whoever's organizing it, like, wow, hats off to them, because I don't know that I would want to take uh, a bunch of 13 or 14 year olds on a week-long field trip, but uh, good for them, and I'm sure he's going to have a great time, um, but now he just needs to make some money to pay for the trip, so uh, that's why we're, we're selling t-shirts, we're using his artwork to, uh, to make him some money, and maybe teach him a little bit about, you know, how to make money, how to be an entrepreneur, so get them started young. Uh, anyway, that's what's going on here. I have to get going because I got someone coming to do some work in the bathroom and it's going to be a chaotic day. I'm going to try to get work done, but the dog's going to be going crazy and, well, anyway, it's not going to be the most productive day in the world, I know that. But I, I'm going to try to get some stuff done and uh, hopefully I can get some Amazon stuff listed. That's what's on my agenda today. Will I clean up this office? Probably not, because I'm not going to get time for that. But uh, yeah, I will see you all again soon, hopefully in about a week or so, and I'll let you know what's going on. So uh, yeah, happy selling, everyone.